Hi everyone, Stephen here from Glow Dreaming. I am the head sleep specialist and the customer care manager. And today, we're gonna to be talking about the science behind your glow. So I'm gonna go through the three different functions and how they work. So we are gonna get a little geeky here. I am gonna get a little bit of nerd speak in there, uh, but it should be really insightful for anyone that's interested in how the glow works and how it can help your child and you get a better night's sleep. So. The glow functions in three different ways, but before we talk about that, let's talk a little bit about sleep. How does sleep work? Well, in a nutshell, we wake up, we go to bed, and we're dictated by the circadian rhythms. So circadian rhythms are kind of when the sun rises and then when the sun sets, we start to get a little bit drowsy, a little bit tired, and then a hormone called melatonin takes over a little bit and then we get to sleep. The way that the glow functions is really similar. We got the idea from astronauts because in space, no one can hear you sleep. When the light is refracting in a space station, there might not be any for months on end. And you might not have sunshine for very long or you might have sunshine all the time. So how do you dictate this natural process of the sun rising and the sun setting? Well, we came up with red LED lights because that's what the astronauts use in space. So when they are awake, they commonly use blue light to keep them awake. And that would just be regular lights. Regular lights, fluorescent lights, your phone, your tablet, your computer, your PlayStation, all of these things, they emit blue light waves. When we go to sleep, we don't really want to emit blue light waves. It's a little bit counterproductive. And it's the same thing for your child. If there's a lot of stimulation, a lot of noise in the house, a lot of light in the house, it's going to create a, a bit of a frantic pace and it's going to keep your child awake and it's going to keep you awake. So the way that the glow functions is we create a wind down time of around that 20 minute mark. So you might give your child a bath, you might read them a story, and then you might turn on the glow for about 20 minutes or so. We always recommend the brightest red LED light setting and that is because we want to light up the room as much as possible with that red light. Now red light waves have a very specific function. They actually create melatonin, that hormone that I was talking about before. And what that will do is that will create that drowsiness that you want, especially from a child that's not sleeping. Melatonin also has added benefits in creating a deeper sleep, which is what we want. So we want your child and you to sleep for longer, but also have a better sleep so that you wake up refreshed. So that's the red LED function. Now, before I move on, you'll also notice that we have a green function. And that green function that we can show right here has to do with concentration levels. So it's been shown that green LED function, uh, a green LED waves, they function at a different bandwidth, kind of like sound. A green LED wave will actually increase concentration. So it helps for children that have ADD, ADHD, or maybe you just want your child to be playing in the green light so that they can actually concentrate a little bit more because maybe they might be feeling a little anxious. So the green light is particularly good for that, but not always good for sleep. Generally, we really very, very rarely would ever recommend putting on a green light before sleep, and we highly recommend that you do not do that because it typically, and I say typically because there's always 1% that it could potentially have a beneficial effect for sleep, will not function well for sleep. So we always recommend that you turn on the red light to the highest, wind down for 20 minutes, increase those melatonin levels, and then get your child to sleep. The second function is the pink noise function. And the pink noise function sounds a little bit like a 70s rock band, but I promise you, it's a rock star in its own right. The way that it functions is resonance and spectrum. So pink noise, white noise, they might sound the same, but they're not the same. So white noise functions at a completely different frequency. Pink noise functions at around 2.4 megahertz, which is the frequency of a babbling brook or a windy day or rain, pitter pattering on your window, things that will calm you. And the way that it sounds and what it actually does are two very different things. So the way that our brain functions is it functions off resonance. So when you hear something, that calming feeling that you get when you hear certain music, that comes from the resonance of the music. So it might be a good tune, but the resonance is what we're aiming for. So we had a very specific Belgian engineer, who's actually a doctor of sound, 
to create a sound file that's very specific to the speaker in the Glow. And that allows that speaker to resonate off a hard surface that will actually give you pink noise. Typically, you'd only be able to do this with a very large subwoofer. And that's why your phone doesn't necessarily have the capability to produce pink noise. It might say it's pink noise, the sound file might be pink noise, but to get that sound of pink noise, you either need a sound engineer like we did to create that very special frequency with the particular hardware in the unit that we have, or you need a subwoofer big enough to actually generate that frequency so that you can get to sleep. Now, pink noise, very exciting stuff. Although the research is in its infancy, pink noise does something very, very specific. It increases what we call delta wave sleep. So you've probably heard of REM sleep, which is rapid eye movement sleep, but you probably haven't heard of non-REM sleep. Non-REM sleep is non-rapid eye movement sleep. And what that basically means is it's dreamless sleep. It's a sleep that you can't remember, and it's the good stuff. It's what we encourage with pink noise. Pink noise resonance will enhance delta wave sleep and it will actually prolong delta wave sleep. And why is delta wave sleep so important? I was talking before about how there's research in its infancy, but I didn't mention what. It's actually got to do with Alzheimer's and dementia. So a lot of people who suffer Alzheimer's and dementia, and if you have been hit with that particular disease, then I'm sorry, I feel for you. Uh, we've had family members with it as well. Um, pink noise allows it to resonate um, at a certain frequency that encourages your brain to clear out what we call beta amyloid. Now beta amyloid has a bunch of amino acids that build up in the brain and that create toxicity. Um, your brain doesn't have a lymphatic system to pump that stuff out. So what the body will do and it's a very intelligent system, it will actually drain the beta, beta amyloid out during delta wave sleep. And it will increase things like cognition, short-term memory, long-term memory, coordination, all those lovely things that you and your child really want. And that's why we have brain fog when we wake up. So if you feel like you're in a werewolf movie, you're not alone. A lot of people who suffer from lack of sleep will wake up and they will feel like there is a fog forming. That is real and that is uh, an accumulation of beta amyloid in your brain. So pink noise and that resonance frequency will actually help clear beta amyloid out, like a draining system, out of your brain and will refresh you. And this is why we always encourage using all three modalities at the same time during a wind down routine. Third and final function, aromatherapy. How does it work? Well, it's not just a lovely smell. It was designed by a doctor that specializes in toddlers, Dr. Bo, as we commonly refer to her here lovingly. She is a specialist when it comes to anything oil related, um, especially when it comes to toddlers and children. So she designed the organic essential oil that we have, um, referred to previously as Twinkle Star, but now it is Glow Lullaby, but don't worry, the ingredients are identical. Uh, this will provide not just a lovely smell for your home, but will also absorb through the first layer of the epidermis, your skin. Not just for your olfactory or your sense of smell, it will actually absorb through the largest organ in your body, which is your skin. Um, it will go into circulation, and then it will encourage the limbic system, which is another system that's very closely related. It works together with the autonomic nervous system, which is what we were doing before with the red LED light stimulation, which increases melatonin production and makes you all drowsy, and also clears out that beta amyloid with the pink noise function and makes you sleep better, higher quality of sleep. The autonomic nervous system and limbic system kind of work in conjunction with one another. The aromatherapy unit will help with the limbic system and will help with long-term memory and a whole bunch of other things but we'll also get you a really, really good night's sleep. And that's what we really want to do here at Glow, at Glow Dreaming. We are really committed to providing the best possible service for our customers and providing the best possible product that we can give parents so that they can get a good night's sleep. And all these three functions, they work in conjunction to actually create a harmonious environment so that you can put your child to sleep, so that you can get some rest. It will help that parasympathetic nervous system, which is part of the autonomic nervous system, to actually switch that rest and recovery and rest and digest. So you'll notice that when your child is particularly grumpy, 
um, from lack of sleep. They also generally don't eat very well, and that's because the parasympathetic nervous system is also linked with the enteric nervous system, which is your rest digest system. So this is how the functions work. That is what we recommend. But the most important thing is, is you. So if you don't have the results that you want after six nights, I strongly recommend jump onto our customer care portal. If you can't find the answers that you need there, contact us because that's what we do here. We help parents just like you get a good night's sleep. We look at your routine, we look at your nap schedules, we look at how well you're taking care of yourself and we help you get a better night's sleep so that you can be the best possible parent for your child that you can be. Thanks guys, I'll see you all next time.